Hi babes, welcome back to my channel and to another tea talk. Also, welcome to my living room. It is officially Pride Month and what an amazing time to be alive and to be living our best, truest, most authentic selves. But to do that, we as queer people have to do that weird thing that straight people don't ever have to do. We have to come out to the people in our lives and typically that includes our parents. Coming out to our parents can be the most scary, painful, and complex thing that we do on our journeys. And the thing is, the fear that we feel about coming out to our families and our parents is not just the fear of something dramatic happening, like getting disowned and kicked out, even though those things happen more than my heart can actually handle. It's sometimes the more subtle fear of having someone we love so much have their hearts change even just a little. The feeling that you are no longer seen as the same person you were two seconds ago before you told that person what it took you yourself years to realize. Coming out can be one of the scariest things that we do for a million reasons. And for some reason I've been thinking about this a lot extra hard recently and I thought that maybe I'll film a video on this and let some of you guys out there know that you're not alone and that we all have our coming out triumphs and heartaches, but that living your truth and being who you are is the best thing that you can do. So in honor of Pride Month, and because I get this question from you guys a lot, I'm going to talk today about how to come out to your parents. <sighs> Now let me start with this, guys. You don't ever have to come out to your parents. You are not obligated to share this part of your identity with your family, no matter if you are a lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, non-binary, pansexual, asexual, however you identify on the LGBTQ+, etc. spectrum, that is your truth and it is your choice to share that with people in your life or not. However, if you do decide that you want or need to come out to your parents, let's chat about it. And I'll give you my advice as a professional lesbian. Disclaimer, like I'm not entirely qualified to give any sort of advice, this is just my personal experience. Also, I've listened to a lot of people over the years and their coming out stories. I've talked to a lot of parents who have had their children come out. I've listened to them. I've heard their experiences. I feel like I am a fount of gay knowledge and that's what I'll be sharing with you guys today. Step one, safety. Okay, so there is never a right or a wrong time to come out, but you have to feel safe. If you rely on your parents for financial support in any way and you think that things may go badly for you, I will always advocate waiting until you can support yourself or you have a safe place to go. Waiting can be soul crushing, trust me I know, but if it is the safer thing to do then that's what I advocate. Step two, have a plan. So when I say have a plan, I mean let your friends or other family members know what's about to happen, that you're coming out to your parents, and just have someone ready to support you, ready to come get you, or even there with you. And I know this is gonna sound a little dramatic, but have a bag packed with all of your essentials, your paperwork, driver's license, birth certificate, all your devices, all the important things that you may need if you need to pick up and go if things go badly. Coming out is a very emotional experience for a lot of people and I would rather that you be safe and prepared and I will also leave some resources in the description box below, resources for if things do go badly and you need help, you need support, you need a place to go. I will list as much as I can in the description box below. Fingers crossed that you won't need it, but not trying to scare you, I'm just trying to have you be prepared. Step three, decide how, when, and where to come out to your parents. Coming out does not have to be perfect. You can feel nervous and anxious and scared and all of those things. Coming out does not have to be this grand event. It can be as big or as intimate as you feel comfortable. You can have someone come with you. You can even write a letter. It definitely helps to have the undivided attention of your parents. So don't come out during like a big event like your cousin's wedding or do anything to shock them because it's gonna be an emotional time for everyone involved and you wanna have as much compassion for your family as you do for yourself. And you also wanna make sure that the timing is conducive to communication and a respectful dialogue. When I came out to my mom, which I'll also leave my coming out story in the description box below and like up here somewhere <laughs> if you want to watch that. But when I came out to my mom, I was like 18 and I was dating my first girlfriend. You know, when you're dating your first girlfriend, you like don't sleep. <laughs> 
and, uh, and my mom was seemed worried about me because I looked a little haggard. Lesbianism, it'll steal your sleep, y'all. So I took my mom out to lunch because I wanted to tell her, hey, I'm not on drugs. I'm just dating a girl. So I took her out to lunch and we had a, a really good talk. She was kind of like, yeah, you know, you and Brittany, my first girlfriend, stumble out of the bedroom with like hickeys all over you and kind of figured it out. But she was also like, didn't think that I would be gay. She thought that her gay dar would pick up on it. I don't look classically dykey. But as we know, gay people look like everything. My mom was really, really wonderful and she was just scared for me and facing homophobia and all of that. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. When I came out to my dad, oh, that was like so much harder. My dad grew up in Oklahoma and he comes from a background of go to church three times a week. Gay people are an abomination, etc. But I really wanted to tell my dad, whew, so, uh, my dad at the time lived in Reno, Nevada, and I flew out to visit him, and he and I went on an evening hike, just the two of us, and that's when I told him it was rough. <laughs> and uh, But he, he was really still amazing about it. I mean, I think that my, my dad doesn't have a problem with gay people, he just didn't want his daughter to be gay, <laughs> which, you know, I am. <laughs> I told my parents just one-on-one. -on -one. But choose what works for you, pick the time and the place that works best for you. Step four, moderate your expectations. Now I don't know how your particular parents will react to you coming out, but I can give you some general advice and I have all the hope in the world that your coming out will be easy breezy and pain free. But you have to remember that your parents are people too. They come with an entire lifetime of preconceived notions and dogma, whether that be cultural or religious or even generational. They have lived their entire lives with a specific worldview and their child being a part of the LGBTQ plus community probably doesn't fit in with their idea of what they wanted for you. Your family and your parents may react in a way that hurts you or surprises you. Your parents may feel heartbroken for any number of reasons and they're gonna be scared for you because the simple reality is it is harder and more dangerous to be a part of the LGBTQ plus community. My mom was so afraid for me um, that I was gonna face violence and homophobia. Her understanding was oh my god, my daughter is gonna go through so much more pain than someone who is straight is going to. And she's gonna face so much more discrimination and so much more hate. And that was really hard for my mom. I know that she was like, please don't be gay because I want your life to be easy. Little did my mom know that I'm a gay superhero and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> but my mom definitely struggled with that and I'm sure my dad did as well. And I'm sure your parents will because no one wants their kid to go through struggles and pain in life. I know that your emotions are gonna be heightened. You may get upset, but doing your best to stay calm is going to work wonders on helping keeping the situation calm. Your parents may not be ready to continue the conversation when you come out and you may have to wait and that's totally fair. So have a lot of compassion for where your, your parents are and what their needs may be in the situation. Your parents first reaction may not be what you had hoped it would be. Or your parents might be super casual about it. They may have already known or suspected and be totally cool with it and have just been waiting for you to come out of the closet of your own accord. But then again, your parents might be completely and utterly blindsided. Whatever their response, be patient with them. Be open and ready to answer questions. But remember that answering those questions is a gift. Their questions may seem invasive or inappropriate, and you may not even have the answers to some of their questions. And that's okay, you don't have to have all the answers right now. They may think that you are too young to know. They may think it's a phase. They may think all those cliches, and that's okay. They're allowed to think whatever they wanna think. Be open and willing to educate. I think that that's huge. You've probably done your research on the queer community you've identified where you fit on that spectrum. You know, your parents are probably gonna be feeling a lot of fear and confusion, and they may not even be able to wrap their brain around concepts like non-binary and trans. They may not even know what that means. As long as your family is respectful, you can share as much or as little as you feel comfortable. But guys, do not allow abuse or extreme disrespect. This is where your plan that we talked about earlier comes into play. If things are looking like they are going badly, now is the time to phone that friend, get that family member, grab your bag, and go. You don't have to take abuse or disrespect from anyone, including your family. 
Hold on, we have to stop and say hello to a special guest. If Fenton came out to me, I would be totally fine with it. If he told me he was straight, I'd be disappointed. I'm kidding. <laughs> Bye, Fenton, I love you. Forever, it's just the kind of parent I am. I'm also allergic to cats, so it's like extra love. Anyway, and your parents may not accept that you are a part of the LGBTQ plus community, and that's okay. If they don't accept you now, a few years from now, after they've had some a lot of time to think about it, don't give up hope that your family will never come around because I've seen it happen many times. But you need to remember your truth, all right? Don't lose sight of that. It's taken you, I'm sure, a long time to come to terms with who you are and to accept your identity. Recognize that their response is a reflection of them and not you. If things are not going well or they don't accept it or they say hurtful things, that is because that is their worldview and that is not because you deserve it. Whew. You are worthy and you belong and you matter. You deserve to love and to be loved for who you are and you are who you have always been. Sometimes our families cannot accept us, no matter what we do. But you have an entire chosen family out there, an entire community with open arms, connection, resources, support, and love that are waiting for you to shine your beautiful light and to live your authentic life. If you are coming out to your family and your parents, I hope it goes well. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you had a great experience coming out with your family, if you did not, if you have any advice for any of the people who might be watching this, I would love for you guys to share your experiences uh, because they're super valuable and everyone's experience is going to be different. So I want to hear about yours. I love you guys so much. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, do all those things. And I'm going to go finish my tea and go hang out with my cats and be super grateful that I get to live out and proud every day. Happy Pride Month. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.